Okay, let's see how fast we can do this. If you could do this in under four or five minutes. Basically, the goal today is to walk you through how we do high-level SEO analysis on rows using Google Search Console data. The goal is quite simple. You know, if we're assessing the impact of our SEO efforts at a high level, first, we want to see how much traffic is going to rows and we want to exclude the branded keywords. So people who are already looking for something on rows or the rows brand. So the first thing that we do is just pull data from Google Search Console. In this case, I'm going to pick the property rows. You see that automatically we identify what the domain the target is, and I'm going to create a custom request. In this case, let's pull the data from the whole year of 2024. So I'm going to do 1st of January until the end of December. And in this case, I want the data broken down by day, right? Like stats by day, just to see how this is evolving. So this is what I'm picking the dimension. And now I'm going to filter the data. And this is where I want to exclude the rows keyword. So I will say the dimension query should not contain, you know, does not contain row. Why row? Because sometimes people write rows, but they actually write row instead of rows. So this get, this way that it excludes row, rows, row spreadsheet, rows app, all of that. Get data, we're connecting it in real time. We create the table here. And now I can look at the data, right? So I can see I have date, clicks, impression, CTR, and position. I'll just finalize this data table with automation. Basically, I want to refresh this data here every day so that tomorrow, the following day, etc., I already have kind of a pre-built dashboard with this. Let's save the changes. Let's close the panel. We see that now there's an automation here. I will just format this. I'll use our command K control to transform this into a percentage and this into numbers with separators. Okay numbers with separators, and I'll remove here the decimal cases, right? So we have some like high level numbers here. Now, typically, if you're looking at the data by day, you're going to see a lot of fluctuation, obviously, because it changes like, searches on Wednesday are very different from Saturday and Sunday. So we want to group this by week. We do this a lot. So I'll come here, date, I'll, I'll change this to week, and I will format this differently. So I'll come here, insert, I'll insert the new type format. Okay. And let's select the week here, right? So you see here, year week, year week, apply. And you see that we transform this into the week, which now makes it a lot easier to aggregate the data and create the pivot table. So I'll do here daily stats, non-branded keywords. So now I'll create a pivot table with this. I'll come here, insert pivot table in the row. I want the week, right? And then in the values, I want both the sum of clicks. And then I also want the average position just to see how that is evolving as well. Right? Like that should be going down. So let me look at the average position as well. And we have the data here. Okay, let me remove the grand totals. No, here it is, perfect. So now I have, you know, per week, total clicks, average position. Again, I wanna remove here some of these decimal cases. Here we are. You see that for the current week, there's some data. You don't have the whole year, week, uh, year yet, week yet. I can remove this as well. And now let me add a chart. So I'll add a chart here and I can start visualizing some data. Now here, the two axes, they are quite different in the uh, in one of the numbers. So I'll transform this into a combo chart. I'll move the average position to the vertical axis. And here, one thing that I really like is just how our combo charts work. I can quickly say, this is the line and this is the column. And I'm gonna color them so that the sum of clicks are like this and then the average position are here. All right, so I start having a sense that the branded keyword traffic is growing quite a lot since the beginning of the year and the average position is going down. One thing I always like to do is to set the axis to zero because I always think that charts should start with the axis in zero, just to, to keep the data a bit more real. And I'll just finalize this by saying you know, traffic to non-branded keywords. Okay, let's do this. And then let's add here a footnote, source GSC all of 2024 by week. Perfect. Okay. Now I'll reorder this element so that this is more like a report. I'll move the traffic, the chart up, the pivot table up here. And now I have like at least a high level overview of what's going on. So I can see basically traffic going up week over week. I can see the positioning going down. And now one thing that's really interesting is probably say, okay, but which pages are contributing most to this traffic? Just so that we can finalize this high level view. I'll come here again, search console, 
pick the domain, create a request. And in this case, what I want are the pages. So I will say, for example, it could be even within the same, uh, or, or I can even say, look, I just want to focus on the last 30 days for performance because I've been pushing out more content pieces. So last 30 days, the domain I want that I mentioned to be the page, basically give me, give me a list of pages. And again, I want to exclude queries that contain, query does not contain row again, right? Perfect. And now we will see something different. We'll create this data table here. Right? And now we have a different view, right? So now we have the stat, the statistics per page, right? So you know, pages with, with most traffic, non branded. Okay. And now you see here, I can move this up so that we have kind of this view here. So now I have the chart with the traffic to non branded keywords, pages with most traffic, non branded last 30 days. Okay. And here it is. So now I hear, I see here like these tools, the regex generator, some calculators, some blog posts, some templates are the ones driving more traffic. Obviously then I want to deep dive into this. And the final thing that we typically do with these types of reports is then to share it. So if I want to share this, for example, in a notion page, what I will do is I'll come here embed, share privately, copy the URL. And then if I open a new notion page, okay. Here it is. I'll create an embed and now I'll have a live connection between the spreadsheet and the, you see, between the spreadsheet and the notion document so that whenever the data refreshes tomorrow, it will also refresh here. And I could do the same thing with anything. It could be a table depending on how I want to compose the report. And then this basically becomes a live view of my analysis on non-branded keyword. Right? This is it. And about the high level, how to do this, how to do it in rows, kind of five to seven minutes. And now you can get this started as well and see what the start traffic looks like to you. Bye.